My name is Professor Jeff A. Fleming. I am the co-owner of Fleming's Fundamentals of Law. I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation, The Art of Test Taking. You may be viewing this presentation today, either online or by DVD. Today's presentation will be broken down into two segments. Part one, general information regarding the art of test taking and how to achieve outstanding grades in law school. And part two, a review of the various law school programs Fleming's Fundamentals of Law has to offer, including the legal exam writing workshop, the science of the multiple choice, and the exam solution series, all created to prepare the law student to excel on their final examinations. However, before we get started, I'd like to give you a brief review of my background, both as a college student and an attorney and law professor. When I was in college, my background was in the area of political science and history. As a result, I was trained to write quantity as opposed to quality. In college, my grades were very high, mostly all A's and I took those tools to my first semester of law school, believing that I could apply the same technique in law school that I learned and applied in college. In my first semester of law school, I memorized all the Blackwater Law because as a political science major, history major, memorization was quite easy. I received my grades for the first semester. The grades were C's and C pluses. Needless to say, I was shocked. I came to law school as a legend in my own mind, as most of us do when we graduate from college. I immediately went out and hired a tutor. Her name was Victoria, and she was the editor of Law Review. And I asked her to help me learn the art of test taking. I worked with Victoria in the second semester, and my grades went from C's to high B's. I then worked with Victoria for my third semester in my second year, and my grades went to A's. Pretty much the rest of my law school career were A's. Because I had mastered and learned the art of test taking. It took me three semesters to perfect the system. I then graduated from law school. I became a law professor. I spent 23 years teaching the law, both at ABA and state accredited online institutions, Western State University College of Law, the University of West Los Angeles School of Law, and Northwestern, which is an online law school based in Sacramento. I've authored seven books. I've been a consultant and content provider for numerous California law schools, and I prepared law students throughout the country for their law school exams, the California First Year Law Exam, named the Baby Bar, and the California Bar Examination. I've also participated and attended the California Bar Examination Calibration Session in San Francisco. My 36 years of experience has given me the insight to assist you in excelling on your law school exams, the California First Year Law Exam, and the California Bar Examination. Let's begin with our first topic for today, that is the art of test taking and how to achieve outstanding grades in law school. I like to define the term art, test, and taking. Art is defined as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, a skill at doing a specified thing, typically one acquired through practice. As a law student, your essay grade will depend upon your ability to write a succinct, organized, coherent, factual, organized response to the professor's factual examination, that is, the ability to express yourself by painting a picture, like art, for the professor by applying the facts of the examination to the rules and elements of the law. Therefore, to achieve outstanding grades in law school, you must master the art of test taking. Test is defined as a procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, or reliability of something designed to reveal the strength or capabilities of someone. Depending upon the law school you attend, American Bar Association, California Accredited, or online law schools, you'll either have a midterm and a final exam for your final grade, or simply maybe one examination at the end of your semester. That particular final exam will consist of usually a combination of essay format and multiple choice questions. Most law schools also have a established bell curve for grading purposes. Therefore, in a typical ABA class, you might have 80 students in the class. You would end up having maybe 8 to 10 A's, maybe 15 B's, and 40 or 50 C's, and a few D's. The bulk of the bell curve is normally made up of C and C-plus students. The reason for that is, is those C students have not really mastered the art of test taking. To achieve outstanding grades and reach the top of the bell curve, you must master the test. 
Taking is defined as to make or undertake or perform a task, to be taught or examined in a particular subject. A law school exam tests a student's proficiency and knowledge in a particular subject but under timed conditions. Time conditions will range from maybe one hour up to three or four hours. Keep in mind it depends on what school you attend. The California Bar Exam, the essays are one hour in length. The first year law exam baby bar are one hour in length. For the baby bar, you'll have to master three subjects. That's torts, contracts, and criminal law. And for law school and the California Bar Examination, you'll have to master 15 subjects, including torts, contracts, real property and remedies, criminal law, criminal procedure, constitutional law and evidence, wills, trusts, community property, professional responsibility known as ethics, civil procedure, business associations, sometimes referred to as business organizations, including agency and partnership and corporate law. Therefore, to achieve outstanding grades, you must master the art, the test, and the taking of the law school examination. In Sun Tzu's famous masterpiece, The Art of War, written more than 2,000 years ago, he states, if you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gained, you will also suffer defeat. I like to apply the rules of the art of war to the art of test taking. Let's take a look at slide number one and break down the art of test taking. First, in order to be a successful law student, you must know the enemy, and the enemy is your law school examination. The successful law student must learn to implement exam strategy, i.e. how to attack the examination with proper tactics and perfect the essential exam techniques required in order to achieve outstanding grades. Second, your battle is to conquer that law school examination. Generally, there are two testing formats in law school, essays and multiple choice, and each format requires different skills. In a few minutes, I will address how to conquer both testing formats. Third, to win the war, you must practice and master the art of test taking as soon as possible. As they say in contracts, time is of the essence. As a first year law student, your first year law school grades are critical to your ultimate success in law school. Let's take a look at slide number two, which focuses on essay examinations, entitled The Art of writing. Please keep in mind, in order for you to be able to communicate and express yourself in writing, it's absolutely crucial to your success on a law school exam that all of your writing skills are practiced and perfected over a period of time. The art of writing includes the following. First, the manner of expression, including skill, technique, and know-how, which comes with mastering the so-called IRAC format. Now, IRAC stands for issue, rule, and that rule can be a code, a statute, possibly, or straight black letter law. The rule for application is A. Now, keep in mind that some professors call the A and IRAC analysis. I prefer to call it application because what you're doing there is applying the facts of the exam to the rule of law and you're marrying that fact-rule connection. And, of course, you need a conclusion. That's the whole purpose of the casebook, because in a casebook you spot issues, you have rules, codes, or statutes, you apply the reasoning of the court, the court arrives at a holding, so when you're briefing cases in law school, you're learning and mastering the IRAC technique. Second, learning to be concise is learning to focus. You must be focused to be successful in a law exam, especially because the exams are under time conditions. You will need to master the outlining process, how to outline an exam, within about a quarter of the time allocated. So if it's a one hour exam, about 15 minutes, or if it's a two hour exam, about 30 minutes, because the outline is crucial. That's your roadmap, that's your Google map, so that you can pair the final examination. And third, practicing legal writing is practicing the law. Only through practicing legal writing will you learn the law and its application to a factual setting. Please remember, in order to achieve outstanding grades, you must be able to issue spot, that is spot the most issues the professor has in the examination, organize your thoughts, and express yourself through the written word. Once you perfect these skills, you'll have mastered the art of writing. 
Okay, let's take a look at slide number three, which focuses on multiple choice exams entitled The Art of Analysis. Analysis in Greek means to break apart. With multiple choice exams, you're required to break apart fact patterns to determine the best answer choice presented by the four options. Multiple choice examinations account for a significant portion of your law school grade, anywhere between 25% to 50%, and some professors 100% if the entire final exam is based on the multiple choice. On the California Baby Bar Exam and the California Bar Exam, the multiple choice comprise 50% of your total score on the standardized test. The key skills to mastering the multiple choice exams include first, reading comprehension. Reading comprehension is absolutely crucial when reading a multiple choice question. To be successful, you must first read the call of the question to determine exactly what the call is asking you. We use an acronym in our courses called SPILL. Determine the subject matter, S, P, who are the parties, I, what issues are being tested in the call, and L, what law applies. If you run the call of the question through SPILL, you have a better idea what you're looking for. Second, we require our students to drop their eyes through the four options, not reading every word, but just got an imaginary line through the four options, getting an idea of exactly what the call of the question and what options are being tested. Third, we read the fact pattern, sometimes referred to as the root or the stem, to determine what facts apply to what law so we can then determine what the correct answer is based on the call of the question being asked. Second, application of blackboard of law to a specific fact situation is essential to gain the right answer to a multiple choice question. A complete understanding of the rules and the elements of law are key to achieving success. Otherwise, you'll never be successful on a multiple choice examination. For example, if one answer says negligence, one answer says strict liability, one answer says battery, one answer says none of the above, and you want to select negligence as the correct option on your multiple choice, then you have to go elemental, duty, breach, actual cause, proximate cause, damages. Go to your fact pattern. If you have facts to match all the elements of the duty, breach, actual cause, proximate cause, damages, negligence is the right answer. However, if you can't meet the elements through the use of the facts, then negligence cannot be the right answer on a multiple choice. Keep in mind that if you misread the fact pattern, you'll end up with a non-responsive answer to the call and you'll get the answer wrong on a multiple choice. Keep in mind also that once you perfect the key skills of reading comprehension and black letter law, you'll have achieved success and you'll have mastered the multiple choice portion of your examination. And that is the art of analysis. Please remember that repetition is the key to your success. They say sometimes that practice makes perfect. What Fleming says is perfect practice makes perfect. Once you've mastered the art of test taking, you will achieve outstanding grades on your law school examination. Now that you have a better understanding of how to achieve outstanding grades in law school, let's proceed to our second topic for today, part two, a review of the various law school programs offered by Fleming's Fundamentals of Law, which include the legal exam writing workshop, science of the multiple choice, and the exam solution series. All three programs were created to prepare you as a law student to be successful on your law school examinations. In my 36 years of teaching law students, I have found that most law students can memorize the rules of law. However, knowledge of law does not necessarily translate into outstanding grades. In fact, knowing the law normally gets you a C in law school. The way you develop the B and the A is through your test taking technique, that is, issue spotting, organization, and applying the facts to the law and writing a coherent answer the professor is looking for. As such, I have developed three programs designed to improve your grades in law school and preparing you for both the California First Year Law Exam, the Baby Bar, and the California Bar Examination. Let's take a look at slide number four, the three different programs that Fleming's has to offer. First, the Legal Exam Writing Workshop. The Legal Exam Writing Workshop was created in 1982. It is the most successful legal exam writing workshop on the market. It's offered live in California, also offered through CD and online home study. The second program we have is called the Science of the Multiple Choice. 
It's an online program to teach the multiple choice skills and strategy in order to perfect multiple choice testing format. And third, the exam solutions. Individual subject outlines with an emphasis in Blackwater Law, checklists, issue spotting, approaches, exam strategy, and exam practice. These three programs are essential to your success as a law student in law school. Let's take a look at slide number five, Fundamentals of Exam Writing. As you can see from the graphic, we have three sections to a successful law exam. The analysis section, which is issue spotting, the organization section, which is the outline of your answer, and finally the written writing technique, which is the actual grade. Remember, your final grade is based on your written answer. So you have to outline and organize your thoughts in order to have a coherent, organized answer the professor is looking for. Fleming's has a mantra which says, learn to write the right way. Proper analysis, proper organization, and proper writing skills will allow you to write the right way and get outstanding grades on your law school examination. Okay, let's take a look at slide number six, the breakdown of legal exam writing workshop. In the legal exam writing workshop, we give you an exam book that I perfected over 34 years. Keep in mind that we use the Rodin statue, which we've seen many times in commercials, which state that think before you write, that's what he's doing, learn to write the right way. When we say think before you write, that means you have to organize your thoughts before you commit them to paper so that you write a paper the professor is going to understand and will reward you with a very high grade. Let's break down the writing workshop. The writing workshop is a two-day, 10-hour writing course. It's presented live in California eight times per year, also available on CD or online throughout the country. The key about the writing workshop is once you take the writing workshop once, it's free during your law school career. And many students will ask me, why should I take the writing course more than once? And the reason for is that it's quite simple. It's because once you take your first set of finals, you will realize your mistakes. You'll also realize your ways to improve. And then coming back and taking the writing course a second time at no charge, you'll then understand definitely how to improve that technique. And then by the time you take your second semester finals and third semester finals, like I improved in law school, you'll find that you have perfected the art of test taking. The breakdown of the writing workshop is as follows. First day, we spend five hours teaching you how to analyze a law examination. That is, we spend two hours teaching you how to issue spot, how to read the call to question. We talked about that earlier through spill. The use of a checklist, how to spot issues on a law examination. Fact breakdown, the difference between major and minor facts, which generate into major and minor issues. We teach you how to think like a lawyer, which means articulating arguments on both sides of the issue. We call that role playing. What would the plaintiff argue? What would the defendant argue? For example, in tort law, the plaintiff has to prove a tort, the defendant has to prove a defense. Or in contract law, the plaintiff wants to enforce the contract, the defendant wants to get out of the contract. Or in criminal law, the prosecutor wants to prosecute for the crime, the defendant wants to avoid criminal responsibility. It's that attack plan that you can use for every single exam in law school that will allow you to spot more issues in your competition, which will increase your grade on the bell curve. After spending two hours on analysis issue spotting, we spend one hour on organization. That is, I teach you how to outline an examination. You'll have an I column, an R column, an A column, and a C column in your outline. If you're handwriting, then you will write left to right. That will put the issue down, the elements, the facts, conclusion. If you're laptoping, you'll lay it out more in more of a vertical form, you'll put down the issue, negligence, below that the elements, duty breach causation damages, below that the facts, and a conclusion. It's much easier to outline in longhand than on a laptop, but I suggest that you apply both under practice conditions to see exactly what works best for you. Keep in mind that the rule of thumb is you outline for 15 minutes, that's a quarter of the time for every hour you're being tested. If it's a one hour exam, you outline for 15, you write for 45. That's a day two-hour exam, you outline for 30 minutes and you write for an hour and a half. The only key to doing well in law school is having an organized answer. The outline is your roadmap. It's your Google map that takes you to the promised land when you then proceed to step three, the written answer, which by the way is your grade. 
Keep in mind we spent two hours in the writing course teaching you how to IRAC versus IAC. Some professors prefer that you weave in the facts with the rule of law. That's called an IAC, issue, application, conclusion. Some professors want you to state the I, the issue, followed by the rule of law, then apply the facts to the elements and a conclusion. What's also very important is how to construct legal arguments. That is sophisticated analysis. So what we do is we teach you a formula. We call this the application formula in the IRAC. The formula is we open up with an opening sentence like here or according to the facts or in this case. We then plug in the facts. We take them right off the outline column. We then apply a buzzword. A buzzword is a legal term of art. For example, in tort law, it might be foreseeability or superseding intervening event. In contract law, it might be mirror image. Uh, in criminal law, it might be mens rea. Buzzwords are legal terms of art that excite the professor. You drop the buzzword in right after the facts. Then you peel the element off the outline. The element follows the buzzword. You then add a because or a since at the end of your sentence, which is the why. You then conclude to the element. So the formula is opening plus facts plus buzzword plus element plus why plus conclusion. That's how you write good legal application. And that is how you develop sophisticated analysis. And by the way, I told you earlier, that's not the type of writing you did in undergraduate. You're learning a whole new technique to perform on a law school examination. In addition, we go over four practice exams the second day to perfect the first day's a process. And by going over practice exams and teaching how to outline, we'll do two torts exams, a contract or two contract exam and a crimes exam. And then what you'll do is submit an examination for critique. Once we critique that, you can submit two more practice exams. You'll receive your feedback by either CD or Dropbox, depending upon how you want to receive that critique. Once you get that feedback, compared to the model answer, the light bulb will come on and you will learn how to write the right way. The Legal Exam Writing Workshop is essential to perfecting your writing skills, which again is important to getting a high grade on a law school examination. Let's take a look at slide number seven. That is the science of the multiple choice. This book is called The Science of the Multi-State. This is a book that we created about six years ago on how to logically attack a multiple choice question. And one thing that law school, schools do not teach and law professors do not teach is how to take a multiple choice test. It's just given that your final exam is going to make up a large portion of multiple choice. We don't take that for granted. We teach you how to break down a multiple choice question. We teach you how to read and to handle the call of the question. Again, we run that through the subject matter, the parties, the issue, and the law. How to analyze the options and how then to analyze the facts. Call the question options and facts. That's the order of the multiple choice. We teach you in the exam, in the uh, science of the multi-state, how to improve your reading comprehension skills. That is to learn the application of the facts to the rules and the elements of the law. We give you logic questions and practice questions to master the skills necessary to increase your multiple choice scores. Once you understand the Black Widow Law, you understand the techniques for multiple choice, and you practice hundreds and hundreds of multiple choice, the light bulb will come on and you'll perfect the multiple, multiple choice technique. Let's take a look at slide number eight, our third product, the exam solutions. The exam solutions are designed to prepare you for each individual subject in law school. And here's an example of contracts two. The outline consists of all the Black Widow Law, the checklist for the subject, the relevant approaches to writing that particular subject and model answers. The emphasis is to take all the notes during the law school semester and condense it and synthesize it down to an outline that you can memorize. It allows you to have an attack plan on your exams and to allow you to practice writing model answers in the back of the exam solution outlines to perfect your writing skills for the particular subject. All three programs I've covered today, the Legal Exam Writing Workshop, the science of the multiple choice, and the exam solution are proven over 35 years of expertise to assist you in mastering the art of test taking and helping you achieve outstanding grades on your law school final exams. What makes Fleming unique is that I am your personal coach. I have 36 years of experience teaching students how to excel on their law school exams, the California first year law exam, and the bar examination. We have individual attorneys on staff 
who can work with you and answer any questions you may have regarding the, the Fleming's products. We have top experienced graders, all have passed the California bar examination. We also have tutors available who can work with you on Skype. All of our products are affordable compared to your law school tuition. In fact, normal ABA tuition is over $50,000 per year. I would like you to visit our website for detailed testimonials from our students. I think you'll find the results speak for themselves. I'm very proud of our student success in law school, the baby bar, and the bar examination. Our contact information is as follows. Please visit our website at www.lawprepare.com or email address is info, I-N-F-O at F-F-O-L com. Please remember there are three kinds of law students. Those who make it happen, those who watch it happen, and those who walk out of their exam and say, what the heck just happened? We look forward to working with you to make it happen. I wish you the very best of luck on your law school career. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.